Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. IPv4 and IPv6 will coexist for a long time. Many techniques were developed to handle this transition. These techniques can be summarized into three categories dual stack, tunneling, and translation. There are many tunneling technologies such as manual tunneling. Seek to four is a tap, and many others. Today, my topic is isotab tunneling. Isotab tunneling is designed for transporting IPv6 packets within a site where IPv6 infrastructure is not yet available. Isotab uses well-defined IPv6 address format. ISATAB IPv6 link local address has three parts. The middle part is a special reserved ID for this method. Starting from the right side, the first 64 bit is FE80 colon colon, followed by the special reserved ID, and then followed by a 32 bit long hexadecimal number. Converted from IPv4 address. The second and the third part together is interface identifier. ISATAB IPv6 global unicast address has three parts too. Again, the middle part is the special reserved ID. Starting from the right side, the first part is a 64 bit unicast prefix, the second and the third part. Together, a 64 bit interface identifier. Let's use an example to see how to get ISATAB IPv6 address from IPv4 address. Giving an IPv4 address 10.10.10.2 is ISATAB IPv6 link local address is FE80 colon colon 40 colon 5 EFE. Colon zero a zero a, colon zero a zero two, and the first half of IPv6 global unicast address looks like, for example, two zero zero one colon one two three four colon five six seven eight colon one, and the second half the IPv6 address is four zero colon five e f e colon zero a zero a. Calling zero a zero two. Notice the last thirty two bit of hexadecimal numbers come from its IPv four address. Like other tunneling methods, an isotab tunnel can exist between any two dual stack devices, host to router or host to host. However, the main feature of isotab tunneling. Is to provide a dual stack hosts with access to the IPv6 network over an IPv4 only network. Let's use an example to demonstrate how ISATAB tunneling works. On the left side is host A, which is sitting on an IPv4 network, but configured as a dual stack device. On the right side, the router is configured as an ISATAB router.、Uh, its IPv6 link local and global unicast are configured the same way as host A. Thus, when host A is sending a packet to any host on the IPv6 only network on the right, it would first communicate with a router with IPv4 protocols. When the router gets the IPv4 packet, it would strip off IPv4 header and then deliver the IPv6 packet to the host on the IPv6 only network. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.